Just want to say a few words about this march that's going on today in London with Tommy Robinson leading some uh, British men and women from Victoria Station down to Parliament where he's going to show a film for an hour and a half apparently. He's been in talks with the uh, Metropolitan Police to to work out how to how to do that. There's counter-protest to it as well. Um, as a British guy, I wish I could be there. I couldn't be there. I picked up on it really late, unfortunately. I'm a bit ashamed that I'm not there. I'll make sure I'm down for the next one and the reason i say this is that if you live in this country and you believe in this country then we need to attend these marches as protests and we need to be civil i think tommy robinson has called for people to be civil this is the thing that the authorities really don't want they want this order they want to be able to point at people and go look at the far right it's not the far right it's just average guys like myself who are very concerned about the levels of immigration coming into the united kingdom yesterday there was an attack in mannheim in germany where a, uh, a uh, i think a politician who led small parties 58 year old author called uh, michael stusenberger i think it was stusenberger um, was uh, stabbed and violently assaulted by a young afghan man with a knife you've probably seen that on social media the BBC is calling him a far-right activist, and, and of course they are, all this kind of stuff. And I'm assuming he, he, he might, I don't know, because everything's far-right. And when everything's far-right, it's like calling Tommy Robinson's far-right. When everything becomes far-right or everything becomes racist, then nothing is. It, it loses its meaning. And this is why when I got called those names, it doesn't apply to me. I, I just don't see any point in it. So I kind of respect what people are doing in London today, and I wish people all the best. I genuinely do. I've got, I've got people that have written to me from all over the British Isles, Northern Ireland, even the Republic of Ireland. People are coming over. People are coming over from mainland Europe as well, coming down from Scotland, uh, Wales. The Welsh are on buses apparently going across. <laughs> Top lads. I lived in Wales for a decade. My father was Welsh. I lived in Scotland for five years. You know what I mean? I've flown fast jets over Northern Ireland. I, I have. I have done that. Um, and I think it's brilliant how people are coming together. And then you've got, of course, it's taking place in London, which I would argue used to be the capital of England and is no longer is. And it's about immigration, the levels of immigration. But I think it's more about the way that I think Liz Truss, when she spoke uh, to Connor Tomlinson recently um, from Lotus Eaters, she actually said, former prime minister, she actually said that there's like evil in our in our government and it's not the government as such it's in the, the back ends of it it's a civil service it's been infiltrated by the, uh, what do you call them i, I suppose you, you you have to say they're they're socialist in origin or they're most definitely on the left understandably so because the left sorry these jobs tend to attract the public sector tends to attract people who have more left-leaning views the, the real danger with this though is that the government no longer has a say in how it runs the country. Everything's stemmed from the Blair years, um, Supreme Court. I mean, there's so much, and Liz Truss goes through that. It's very interesting. So I think what Tommy Robinson's doing today is trying to say, look, we're making a stand. That's all it is. We don't agree that... The, the, the big issue is whether you enjoy the levels of immigration or not, no one was asked about it. And I think the conversation just has to come out of that. It's like, okay... So we've got high levels of immigration. I remember when David Cameron came in, he said immigration will be in the tens of thousands. It's now in the hundreds of thousands. I think it was 700,000 last year. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I'm just trying to be a bit of a moderate on this, guys, because I am. I understand that if we want to service pensions in the future and we're not having children, we'll get it. Yes, I'm sure immigration has to come in. And of course, we can bring in a lot of talent from overseas. It doesn't seem to be... That high-skilled immigration that we are promised is the problem. It seems to be, uh, it seems to be, uh, let's just say, a lower level of immigration. And I'm not talking about the boats because that seems to be a small amount. I'm talking about people coming in from education for education, because education now the universities are a business, as we all know. That was always going to happen when when fees were put on. Um, on education, I went through university without having to pay those fees. I was quite lucky in respect. Now, young people have got horrendous fees, but the universities can make more money out of people coming over from China and all over the. I get it. We understand that, and of course, families come in as well. And sometimes these people disappear. I, we all get it. All I'm saying is, why, why weren't we just consulted on this? Why is why the British people never asked about this? This thing that happened in Germany: a police officer is in hospital. He could well lose his life stabbed in the back of the neck if you haven't seen the film go and look at it we've had this with lee rigby we've had it before the manchester bombers we've had all this stuff in uk and we're very tolerant of it because of the years that we spent obviously with the irish republican army blowing up things in the mainland warrington bombings everything else i still check my wheel arches now in my car it's a habit I got from my father um 
I'm very, when I'm walking with my wife, she's always saying to me, you know what, you're always checking everywhere, Tim. When you're walking around, you're always looking around, you're stopping, you're looking back down the street, you're making it obvious sometimes, sometimes it's not obvious. You know, we sit in restaurants, back to walls, looking at the door, you know where the kitchen is, you know where the escape is, you know what weapons you've got, not nice, blunt forces, that's what we need, guys, if we're going to defend ourselves. And when I saw this attack, I showed her the video and I said, do you see how quickly these things escalate? Like, there's a knife man, he's, 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 just, he's almost like on drugs, never stopping, and he stabs the policeman, eventually gets shot. My wife says, but when we're out, we never have any of this trouble, Tim. We never have. And you're always checking this stuff, but we never have any trouble. I said to her, there's a reason we don't have that trouble, because I'm always checking. And I think the problem that we've got is these things are going to escalate, guys. If we're letting in people, we don't know who we're letting in. We know that. We are going to get these attacks manifesting themselves back into mainland. I know I'm not I know I'm not popular with the government right now. I know I'm not popular with the Ministry of Defence either. I've come out of the military and I've got huge issues with the way that I'm military was run especially when it comes to diversity and, and not looking at merit and, and and not letting young young white men join because we'd rather have diversity in it no reason of course just so that we can virtue signal about how i mean it's the whole thing is a mess because people came up with quotas didn't they we know it's a mess and we know it's being pushed not from people in government not from ministers weak people by the way it's being pushed from within the civil service and the civil service tends to be full of young ideologues. There just is. Young people coming out of university. Ideological I was when I was young. I was very left, of course. I'm not now. And I think we have this big problem. Um, and I don't think we can control it. Um, I, I, no one in the civil service knows who is making these decisions. It's obvious that the government cannot change things. We know that. It doesn't matter whether Labour get in. It doesn't matter whether it's Conservatives. It doesn't matter who gets in. Reform, listen to this communist hope not hate group, don't they, which are awful. And uh, and then obviously deselects all their opponents because of it. Because hope not hate says this person is whatever and therefore Richard Tyson reform, in reform gets rid of them. So, so we haven't got control from reform either. I think the only thing, and I'm very careful here because I'm not a man that ever incites anything like this, guys. There's no violence is never going to violence has never worked. Violence is never the answer. It's, it isn't. It can't be. It's a short term thing. As Tommy Robinson said, he said you'll have a lot more effect, and we all will have a lot more effect if we don't use that violence. That's the thing because they realise how organised people are becoming. Ah oh, man, it's crazy. I don't want to see my country going this way. My brother left the country decades ago he lives overseas now he's living in Canada for a long time and I fully understand that I can't leave I could but I can't I'm an Englishman I'm British I can't I can't leave I never can I'll be the last person here and next to me lined up in, in our graves wrapped in our flags will be other British men I'll be lying next to Welsh, Welshmen Irishmen Scotsmen Englishmen because this is what we live on an island we've got nowhere to go this is what I'm trying to tell people we've got nowhere to go it, it, I can't make that any clearer. I, I, I was uh, 20 years in the military, guys. I'd go back tomorrow. You know, I've talked about it before. Something has to give. And if the government isn't listening, then I'm, violence isn't the answer, but representation most definitely is. It's a, it's a very strange thing because once in my life, I don't know what what to do, if that makes sense. I don't know. You can't vote your way out of this. It's it's all back government stuff. It's all civil service stuff. It's not possible for us to change it. It's the Ministry of Defence. Look at the seniors on our, in our military. The, the deputy commander of our military, she doesn't believe in hierarchy, they're crying out loud. What kind of language is this? This doesn't make sense. The senior boss of our, our Royal Air Force, the last one that I did lots of, lots of work on, he wanted to, to bring half the military to be women, half his Royal Air Force to be women. I mean, he wanted 20% to be minorities. There wasn't a reason for that. There was no reason. It's not as if they they make up more of an effective fighting force. Not at all. If anything, they'd be, they'd be less effective if you have half the force as women. For obvious reasons. But there was no reason. There was no, there was no like, discussion on it. There was no, let's write some papers. Let's do the maths on this. It's the same thing with this immigration levels in the UK and in Europe. We all see it. And I see the, the Germans are pushing back. And I think the youth are. Oh, I think it's Germany for German is Germans is that song. And of course, the German government's trying to ban that song, Germany for German. I mean, it's like burning books. It comes around, doesn't it? Every 50 odd years. Let's burn some more books. Let's ban some more songs. It's like the forever war. It's like 1984, isn't it? There's always a war going on. Ministry of Defence telling us about Russian losses. Not telling us about Ukraine losses, of course. No, why would you? But telling us about Russian losses. Unfortunately, Russia, you know, under Putin, seems to... 
I don't know, seems to not be, just seems to be just a bit more mature over this than I think, than we are with these forever wars. I, I'm going to leave it guys, but I wish everyone, hopefully that's down in London. I hope you're all safe and I hope it's, uh, I hope it's very successful. I, I wish I'd down, found out about it sooner. I don't know what I was doing to, to miss this. I'm an idiot. Sorry about that. I'll be down for the next one because I do believe we need to be represented a hundred percent. What you're doing is absolutely fantastic. And, and I'm just hoping there's, there's no violence there. There will be provocateurs. There'll be people in there, won't there? To, to, you know, throw the beer cans around and go, let's get, oh, yeah, we get that. And they, they're going to be placed in. They'll be idiots, of course. And, and the majority of people won't be, but it won't be those majority of people that are not doing anything that are going to be on the news. It'll be the, the one or two, one or two guys that are throwing stuff around. And we understand that it is what it is. We're fighting a very, very, very left wing media in the UK. We're a very left leaning country. It's horrendous. And yet the people aren't. The people aren't. The people are overwhelmingly conservative in their, in their views. And yet, for some reason, oh, I just don't understand it. Uh, it's incredible. Hey, but listen, I, I wish everyone the best. I wish I could be there. Uh, let's let's um, get something done. Hopefully, guys. Um, I really do. If, if you're in if you're in America, I know you're going through the same thing, especially with immigration. And I, I, it's everywhere. That's why it's planned. We know it's planned, right? We know it's planned. If we really need immigrants in the country, let's have that conversation. Of course, we do need immigrants in the country. I, I, I got my, my my wrist was fixed by um, an Iranian surgeon. Fantastic! If we're flooding the if we're flooding the country with Iranian surgeons, I can't get enough of them. Absolutely, doesn't seem to be that way now, does it? Doesn't seem to be that way, and it's because the Home Office seem to feel that the only way of creating increased GDP is by is through increased immigration. They haven't done the maths, of course. They just think more people, more money for the country. Brilliant. I'll leave it there, guys. Maybe good video, maybe bad. I don't know. Maybe a bit of a waffle one, but you know, I'm worried about it. And when I get worried, I get angry. When I get angry, I get violent. And then I'm the same as every other British man and woman out there. I'm not going to tolerate this shit for much longer. And I was, you know, I was a military officer. And I know there's thousands of military guys like myself that think the same way. That's all I'm saying. Something's got to change or something's going to be changed. You know how it is. Yeah, it's what it is. Guys, best of luck.